It's the fastest in the world this year. 10.54, the winning time. In Banana Ground, it's a very small community that I grew. Well, I grew with my grandmother and the feeling for me was, I think it was normal. I don't know what others feel, but um, I know she always wanted girls and she got four boys and two of her boys gave her two grand girls and she always wanted girls so she said okay I want to grow those girls for you. I was always running I don't know why I never walked even if I'm going to the post office fast come back shop run fast and come back so it's just something that was in me. I wake up in the morning just to watch the world championship and Olympics like you guys do in the, in, in the summer so I just draw to that sport. I don't know why I chose running, but it was just in me. That's what I want to do, and I go for it, and I challenge myself. At Manchester High School, on the track team, I was not even a star on the team. I remember in primary school, we have this DA Sports Championship, like where it's primary school against primary school. I think in a division, so you have to qualify to go to that major. It's almost like going to champ, but it's a small championship like champs. So I remember nobody wants to compete with me because I am the fast girl in that school, but the fast girl in my school but I'm the fast girl in Manchester region. So when we went to Manchester in Kurtvine to do the championship, I realized that other girls were much faster than me. So it's just I like I always want to challenge myself. So not because the girls were faster than me, that means I'm gonna stop. So I continue to excel in the sport until I advance in getting scholarship for high schools as well. The first indication of success was I think 2015 when I won my first intercollegiate championship with a time of 11.10. I was like, it's super fast for me to be in that season. It was just April. But I mean, I beat expected athletes who were supposed to be ahead of me. So. I cited in that time where I said, okay, I'm in the right path, just continue to train hard, focus and... It was satisfying to sit down and listen to Elaine Thompson era, reminisce of the past and how her grandmother helped her and helped to shape her and mold her into the superstar that she is today. She spoke about banana ground where she's from. And somebody may not know who Elaine Thompson is. Elaine Thompson is the first female sprinter in history and the second sprinter after Usain Bolt to win the sprint double at consecutive Olympics capturing the 100 and the 200 meter gold at the 2016 Rio Olympics and again at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. A six time Olympic medalist, she rose to prominence at the 2015 World Championships winning a silver in the 200 meters at the rio olympics she became the first woman since florence griffiths joiner in 1988 to win 100 meters and 200 meters gold at the olympics so that is just a synopsis of this little lady who came from banana ground who she said when they sent her to the shop she would always run and as a result of her humble beginning, it helped to mold and shape her into the superstar, the mega star that she is today. It's just speak as testament to a young person. Be encouraged. Wherever you are, you can be a Shelly Ann Fraser. You can be an Elaine Thompson. You can be a superstar if you put your mind to it. Sports Circle 345. God bless.